I guarantee you, if you do this challenge, you'll learn a lot of, uh, on time series. And this is a critical aspect that I know that most of you have not been teach on. And it's key in business. Because if my boss comes, what they want to know is this problem. How much inventory should I have in the next 30 weeks? That's a key one. Okay? So you learn a lot. And you're free to do whatever you want. Whatever. I'm saying you need to focus this column. Uh, later, I'll go into more detail. But you can be as creative as you want. You're free to solve this problem however you want. Uh, metric we're going to use for the cargo. I'll uh, explain a little bit more later, but it's just 1% of the, of the mark. It's from this where? Really, over there. Uh, I know it's a bit small. You have it on cargo. Uh, you can zoom it if you want. This is a real demo series. You have the sales, correct. Uh, inventory blue. You see this thing, for example, here? That is dropping the inventory. It's not precise. Okay? Sometimes the partners do not report for everything. Or sometimes the sales are over the screen. They just messy. You have to use all this. Okay? You're a real data scientist. Um, here, important. The most important column here, the unique ID, you have a week. So 2023 16, that's the 16 week of 2023, slash, um, dash the um, product ID. Okay. And with that, you're going to forecast the next 13 weeks, 100 products, 1,300 points forecast. Here you have uh, the product numbers. It's the same thing on Kaggle, but I'll reiterate. The product numbers, random numbers, uh, report for ID, random numbers, category, as I said here, Arale, for example, we don't sell that, we sell real computers. Um, specs, also, also um, uh, hashed, display size, uh, some explanatory, I think. And then the segment, if it's premium, if it's score, it's gaming. And lastly, the most two important columns, number one, sales. And if you know how much you're going to sell, you know how much inventory you'll have, right? That's the main problem. Try to solve this. But as I was saying to some of you um, on the HP table, somewhere, A6, I think it is, imagine that you come up with the perfect predictions. You know how much inventory HP will have in the next three years. You've done that to Enrique Lores, the HP of uh, uh, the CEO of the CEO of HP from Valencia. And you give him, you give him this. What do you think? Is, is that a great idea? What what he's gonna do over this? Probably not much. So that's why on the on the uh, rubric on the assessment, it's just twenty five percent the act the uh, the cargo. That we're going to provide 25 percent rest is up to you the creativity i want to do both at the beginning and at the end so you can do the post question if you like and at the end you need to solve a business problem how much inventory but uh i'm not here because of the matrix uh of writing a matrix you're here to solve a real problem so you can do for example lots or you can build something or another thing to show the stakeholders that this is a protection, not just an excel. This is important. This is very important on the business. Um, evaluation. Most likely you will have five minutes to present this. Um, because it's very complicated if you don't provide uh, thoughts, we allow you to do slides, okay, just for this challenge. Because otherwise it's very complicated. Yes. Um, very important, as I said, 25% is the error, the, the cargo that we're going to provide next time. 25%, or maybe more, we may increase this, the creativity. You can later read this, okay? Um, then the solution implementation, solution is self explanatory. Um, implementation is, is it fast? Um, or uh, is the code, the code clean? And then the technical innovation is, are we using um, I don't know constant 
for the for the whole prediction, or are we using state of the art models? That's going to be, that's going to be evaluated as well. Okay. Now, for that twenty five percent, we're going to use that. Okay. Why? I want you to do this. Oh, oh I think it's my model. Ninety eight percent. Yeah, right. We need to do the test. So that's why we create a. It's a public leaderboard when it's fifty percent. Uh, public 50% private. So we won't know the exact score until the end of the competition. Okay? So don't be down if you see that you are four, fifth, six, and nine. Again, it's 50% of a 25%. You cannot beat the competition if you're crappy uh, and you, if you understand the business problem we have. Okay? It's obviously because we're preventing overfitting. Um, we share this link on um, on the Slack channel. After this presentation, we'll go one by one to make sure we only have one team per uh, participant. Okay, so you will need to go to Cristina Aguilera, not the singer, but this girl, and uh, and write down your uh, Kaggle ID. If you don't have Kaggle, please log in. Your uh, Google email is super easy. If you haven't done any. Welcome, it's very cool. Um, I think I already discussed this. As I said, the most important part is the ID. Okay? Then the rest gets explained on Kaggle. You have the different bases there. And for those, don't be afraid. If it's time series, never come back. Okay, it's fine. You have a ton of resources. A lot of people is doing the same as we are doing at HP, uh, forecasting uh, inventory. There's a lot of money involved in this. So here, I'll show the picture later, but here we have some links. For example, this very similar cargo on the store sales, and it's also multivariate, and this guy is doing a very good explanation of how you can do it, how you can forecast it. Okay, there's a ton of stuff, don't be afraid of it, and it's super important for the business for you to understand this. Uh, then we have also towards data science and other media. We're going to check those things, so, um, okay. But the main problem again, solving trying to forecast the inventory, you can do it easily just forecasting the inventory alone, or you can go down the rabbit hole and be like me. I've been working with this problem for you now. We're saving. Almost a billion dollars because of this. It's very powerful. How many submissions we can make? Right now it's five per day, per team. We may change that. It depends. And I'm sorry because this text is not correct. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, we'll be on the staff. Thank you.